Well, here we are on YouTube. Did I do it right? <sighs> yes, Nathan, you did just perfect. I'm so proud of you. What a big boy. I'm so doing? happy. Oh, I'm welping us in. You told me to welp us in, so I you did. did a good job. Hey, Nathan, remember Hanks. Brian Lord? Thanks, Master. Um, yes, Brian Lord. Brian, yeah, Brian. He's the one that gave he's us one direction. For, <laughs> he's for, actually the res he's responsible for the growth of our channel. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he is. It's a heavy weight to carry. Yes, Brian, our Lord. Uh, we appreciate your uh, your support of our channel. But he's got another one for us. He mm. see, what I love about Brian. He gave us stuff that made our channel grow, and then he gives us stuff that's probably obscure too, which I love. His his musical taste makes no sense. Like the connections don't make any sense. He's that's a word I, I was going to use that word, but I can't say it properly. <laughs> 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 but that's the word I wanted to use. That's why you said it. So you knew what I was talking about. Okay. He goes, hello, boys. <laughs> Would you react to a couple of songs by Noah Lennox? So today's recording, we're going to do one of them. Uh, so Noah Lennox, you say, who's that? Well, he performs under the moniker Panda Bear. And he's also a member of the band Animal Collective. We've done an Animal Collective. So. Yes, we have. I think we enjoyed yes. it, if I remember correctly. Yeah. So yeah, I think we did. Noah Lennox is a member of Animal Collective. And I should have Googled. Maybe I'll just do it really, really quickly. What Wait, does he play? Is he a Panda Bear in the Animal Collective? Well, that... Oh, good point. I didn't even make the connection. It's funny enough that that's the name of their band. So Animal Collective, for background, they're from Baltimore, Maryland. Their genre was experimental pop, psychedelic, electric, freak, folk, indie rock. Mm -hmm. um, oh, you're right, Nathan. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> that, is, that is his name in the band. It, it's, he's Panda Bear in the band. Okay. It, it, he's Panda Bear in the band, but I guess his, his birth name is Noah. Okay. So Panda Bear is Noah Lennox. He does vocals, drums, percussion, samples, synthesizers. Okay, so they all do vocals, but he does everything. Name name for the panda he drew on tapes he made for friends of the first set of songs he ever wrote. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, that's weird. So okay, this animal. I I don't know if we did much research on Animal Collective when we did their. So anyway, so. He is one of the dudes from Animal Collective. Okay, here we go. So the song is called... You ready? I am ready. I forget what it's called. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the title of the video. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's in the title Wait, of the video. What happened to all the videos? What, what do you mean? Where are they? On. Who's moving huh? stuff around? What are you doing? Don't touch nothing. Ellie's okay, moving things around. Ellie, stop. Oh.
cool though, you see that? Oh, see that. I love Brian. He always gives us stuff where it's, you know, you and I would never, you know, if we lived a million years, would ever hear the song. Meaning, no. like, I'm going to listen to a panda bear song from an animal <laughs> collective. Uh, I really dug it. It's, it's a song that I know might have been good had we had the lyrics up, but that's fine. It's it's a first time listen. We, I was focusing just on the music, the vibe. And you and I, well, I know you're not as well, but for myself, I'm not, a, I'm not, um, like this kind of soundscape doesn't scare me. Like this experimental sound of mm -hmm. we've listened to a lot of different bands who've done this kind of thing. Even like uh, U2's days with you know uh, Zuropa, that type of sound. It kind of reminds me of that mm -hmm. feeling of that soundscape of electronic sounds and things. And uh, so I I dug it. It's very like it's something you don't you can't jog to it. You can't really drive to it per se. But it's just it's this uh, vibe. As you mm -hmm. listen to it, you just kind of get drawn into it. Good time, good time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For a, a hypnotic, but in a good way. It's definitely chill, you know. Like, uh, yeah, I very interesting. I I need to hear more. We do have another song to listen to from uh, another uh, streaming day, but uh, from Panda Bear. So mm. very. Uh, I I liked it. I'm not. I don't know where I sit on it just yet, but I liked it. I I, I don't know if that makes sense. Like I. Sure. Again, don't, the reason why we do this channel... It, please don't sit on it. Thank you. I won't. Like The reason why I like this channel that we do is we talked about this. At the very least, we're exploring things that mm -hmm. we would never investigate and exploring, being exposed to songs, sounds, artists that we just never would on our own time. So I like that. I like that people trust us enough to say, hey, take a listen, take a look, and they're okay if we don't like it or we're not blown away by it. But Brian is always... He's definitely very good at giving us things outside of our wheelhouse. I think that's always his goal. Is he mm. kind of gives us things outside of our wheelhouse from one direction <laughs> for to this? Like what I don't know how he connects the two. I I gotta have a yeah, talk yeah. to this guy. Like, what is this guy's deal? I, I still don't believe he's real, even though we follow each other on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks like a normal person, but I don't think he is. <laughs> Ryan suspects everybody is out to get him. Um <laughs> out to get me. That's not at all what I think. <laughs> yes. I I live in a constant state of paranoia. That's exactly me to a T. Well, not constant, but okay, a little incorrect. I know you're trying to paranoia. Yeah, yes, I don't believe what everyone tells me online. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> That's All great. right. What do you have to say? Well, I wanted to say to me that sound that that sound would be like very well placed in uh, in, in movies. To me, that like it, it had a sound that was like hauntingly uh, like happy, but there's a sinister side to it. And that was like at the very end when it kind mm -hmm. of did that heavy, deep bass drone. It it felt like there's like a, a an evil side to this song. So that that's why, as you hear the like tick tock kind of sound going like this, I imagined like it's almost like some kid being taken on a trip and he doesn't know where he's going and it's, it's going to end very badly. And like the audience knows this so that you can see this, like almost like he's driving through the city, watching things go past. And you know, the, the, he hasn't got the terror yet of what's, what's mm. about to happen. Not that it has to be a kid, but anybody like right, that, that yeah. idea of a, of a soundtrack for that, that kind of a situation, a, a sure. seemingly happy situation that's about to go very, very badly. So I, I thought that I like to visualize stuff a lot just because I'm a video guy, but yeah, that's I liked good. it. I liked it. Yeah, I did too. I, looking forward to hearing more of it. We will on our next live stream. <laughs> 
I had stuff in my mouth. Sorry. Nope. <laughs> Just close the video, Nathan. Just okay. close the video. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you on the next one.